All right, my wonderful students. So before we go over um, the man-made islands of Dubai, uh, I want to show you what you guys are going to be doing next. It's going to be a listening portion. And for whatever reason, this is the area that we do the worst on as a grade according to all of our benchmark data and everything that we've done so far, which is crazy because it should be the easiest. Basically, uh, whether you read uh, really well or really poorly, it doesn't matter. You guys can all sit with headphones, listen for a minute or two or three, and understand the information. You don't even need to be able to read at all to get these questions right. Okay, So I think a lot of it is just not knowing how to approach these questions. So here's my advice to you. Uh, the first time, I would just read the title and listen to it one time all the way through. Okay. Uh, and while you're listening, you're doing active listening, meaning you're not just kind of listening, just kind of waiting for it to be over. You're listening, trying to understand. Uh, you might even pause it every once in a while uh, and kind of reflect on what you just heard. Just like with a book, uh, you might read, you know, five pages, pause and kind of think what's happening, keep going, read the next five, kind of pause. Or if you're reading something really hard, maybe it's even just like a paragraph. And then you try and kind of internalize what's happening. Okay, you're doing the same thing for the listening portion. You're not just sitting there clicking play, and because it went from start to finish, that means that you actually did the work. No, you need to be doing active listening. So while it's playing, you're thinking it through, asking yourself those questions good readers ask, making predictions, making inferences. Okay, that's what you're doing while it plays. If you just click play, you're not going to get the questions right. So that's my first tip, is active listening. My second tip uh, is to listen to it at least twice. At least. Uh, the first time through, just use that active listening. Just kind of hear it, press pause when you need to. Uh, the second time, I recommend you preview the questions. So here's the two you'll be doing. So preview the two questions, and then listen to it again. And maybe you might even have an idea just from listening to it the first time what it might be the answer. But please listen to it one more time because once is not enough, especially when we're not in the practice of really uh, listening to something. You guys are good at listening and reading at the same time, but it's hard to practice just listening. Okay, So that is my advice. Active listening, just listen once. Second time, uh, listen to it and then answer the questions. Okay. So, answers to this. First of all, notice that this is nonfiction. So the best tool that you have at your disposal is the title, which is going to tell you the main idea, and each of the subheadings or the section headings, which are going to tell you, remember, the main idea of that paragraph. So if I'm wondering why these were built, I know it's in this paragraph. If I'm wondering about the construction, I know it's in this paragraph. Okay? So, looking at my answers... How does this paragraph add to the development of the text? The way that you approach this is you find where this paragraph actually is. So it's the one, the palm, Jibera, was the first and smallest of the three islands. Don't worry that you don't know how to pronounce this word. It's a location. I don't know how to pronounce it. Who cares? Um, so it looks like the palm, Jibera was the first and smallest. I know that it's going to be in construction based off of the question, and I'm going to think, why is this paragraph about construction included? Okay. Notice how if I didn't go back to the passage, I would have no idea that this was from the construction passage. And what do we know about these headings? Well, we know that this is going to tell you pretty much the main idea of the paragraph. So without even reading it, I can make a pretty good guess of what the correct answer is. Okay. Um, and since I did read the passage and I have answered these, the correct answer is A. It helps portray how massive of a project it was, uh, which fits with our main idea, thinking about construction. It fits with this. Okay. Number two, how does the information about the Sheik of Dubai uh, show about the Palm Islands? Okay. I need to see where it talks about the Sheik. Uh, and when you look at that, it's in why they were built. Okay, So I'm going to read this paragraph, 
and keeping in mind that this is talking about why they were built. Okay, um, and the answer to this is they were made to make money. Um, and it tells you that right away. So why were they built? That gives us the question. Uh, wanted to eliminate their reliance on their dwindling oil, so that starts to give me the answer. And then it goes even more directly, his reason for creating items was to develop a way to make money for the small desert island. So it tells you, like word for word, assignment and inference. It just tells you. Okay? So it's A. Finally, when you get to this Andrew Jackson passage, make sure that you get question three right and take your time on it. Uh, because it's a two part, two point question. If you get three right and three be wrong, you get zero points. If you get uh, 3A wrong and 3B right, you get zero points. You need to get both correct. So really take your time on these. And when it says evidence, try and listen for that actual, uh, actual evidence. So remember, active listening the first time through. Second time through, preview the questions and then try to find them. Okay? Good luck, my wonderful students.